Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal. I'm the breast cancer surgeon at CK Birla Hospital in Gurgaon. And in this video today, I'll be talking about the various imaging modalities which we use to identify breast-related problems. Now, a lot of patients come to my OPD and they're confused regarding whether to get a mammography, an ultrasound or an MRI done for themselves. So in this video, I'm just going to address these three modalities and when exactly do they need to be done. The first one is mammography. So mammography is nothing but an x-ray of the breast, right? And in this x-ray, we get to know the details of the breast tissue and we also get to know if there's any lump or abnormality present in the breast or not. What we recommend is that mammography should be done after 40 years of age because in young patients, the breast tissue is dense and mammography is not very sensitive in such patients. So that is the first key point which you should remember that only get it done when you're 40 and above, not when you're younger. We'll talk about other modalities in young patients. Now, what exactly happens in a mammography? So in a mammography, there are two plates and those plates are used to compress the breast tissue. And we usually take two views. So we first compress the breast from above and below and then from side to side. And this gives rise to the two images which we get on a mammogram. Now a lot of you must have heard your friends or your family members saying that mammography is extremely painful. Well, it is painful if A, not done properly or done at the wrong time during your cycles. So you should remember that you should always get your mammography after your period. So say 4-5 days after your menstrual period you should get the mammography. Never before your menstrual periods because at that time the breast is swollen and engorged and you're going to have more pain. Also if there are padded handles which are used to compress the breast, the pain is less. And at CK Birla Hospital, we have one of the finest mammography machines where with padded handles, there's a smooth experience and you don't have a lot of pain. Okay. Now, once you get your mammography report, the radiologist reviews that mammography report and they'll give a report in the form of a BIRAD score, which I'll talk about in detail later on. One more very common mistake which ladies do is that they wear an underarm deodorant or they apply powder before coming for their mammography. Don't do that because this talcum powder will show up as small calcium deposits on the mammogram and that can be mistaken for a cancer. So whenever you come into the hospital for a mammogram, make sure that you're not wearing an underarm deodorant or wearing talcum powder and just wipe your breasts clean before you get your mammography done. Another latest type of mammography is known as 3D mammography or tomosynthesis. Now there are only select indications to get this done and this is useful in those ladies who have dense breast tissue. Okay. So this was regarding mammograms. The other modality is ultrasound. Now breast ultrasound has various roles and advantages over mammography in certain situations. The first one being a pregnant patient. So if a pregnant patient is feeling a lump in the breast, we don't do a mammography because of the risk of x-ray exposure to the fetus or the child. So in that case, an ultrasound is useful. Ultrasounds are also the best modality which can differentiate between a solid lump in the breast versus a fluid filled or a cystic lump in the breast. Right? So it's the best to identify a cystic or a cyst in the breast as well. Also ultrasounds are useful in those ladies who have dense breast tissue. Okay. Again ultrasound should be done, uh, usually we recommend it after the periods and in an ultrasound both the breasts are usually evaluated. 
if you've got a mammography done previously, do carry your report so that the radiologist can correlate the mammography report and the ultrasound findings together. The third modality is MRI. Now MRI is an expensive modality and it only has select indications in breast related disorders. The first one being ladies with breast implants, right? So those who've had augmentations done using implants or reconstructions done using implants, MRI is the best modality to evaluate if there's anything wrong with the implant or not. MRI is particularly useful in those cancer patients who are contemplating a breast conservation surgery. You know that for breast cancer, we can either remove the entire breast, that's known as a mastectomy, or we can just remove a portion of the breast that is known as breast conservation surgery. But before we do a breast conservation surgery, we need to be sure that there are not smaller lesions scattered all across the breast and that we get to know using an MRI. Another indication for an MRI is a patient who has a very strong family history of breast cancer or a BRCA mutation. The BRCA gene you know, the gene which was made popular by Angelina Jolie and this increases the risk of breast cancer. So if somebody has this gene mutation and is young, that is below 40 years of age, we recommend an MRI screening in those patients. MRI is also useful to detect a recurrence of breast cancer after surgery, particularly breast cancer or breast conservation surgery. So these are the three imaging modalities which are frequently used in the breast. I've highlighted where each one of them should be done. So this video should make it easy for you to decide which imaging, imaging modality you should go for. But you should always discuss it with your doctor before you get these imaging tests done. Thank you.